We know summers in Alabama mean dealing with the heat every day, but how does that affect your skin? Here with the answer is Dr. Portia Love, a board certified dermatologist and the founder of River Region Dermatology and Laser. As we head into summer, what is your biggest warning as a dermatologist? Well, I just want everyone to stay safe in the sun. Um, make sure that everyone is wearing their sunscreen, um, all skin types, you do need to wear it. And then sun protective clothing is good. Um, shades as well because the sun can damage the eyes if you get too much sun so all of those things you got to think about all those when we're putting on sunscreen how much do we need so in the books it says like a teaspoon on the upper part of the body and two teaspoons on the the trunk and the extremities but basically you want to rub that sunscreen in and if you're outside longer than two hours you want to reapply it I think that's key um, also spray sunscreens if you are using those make sure you rub those in as well because the wind can affect those as well. Do we need to wait a little bit before we hop in the water? Should we sure. not just spray our children down and say, okay, get in the pool? 15 minutes. So you apply the sunscreen, wait 15 minutes, and then they can go get in the pool or the beach or whatnot. A, a lot of us who've grown up in the South, we're like, we're used to being out in the sun. You know, I've been out there all my life, didn't put on sunscreen. You don't get immune to it. No, no way. I, I've had so many people come in within the last week with blistering sunburns. And so it is important um, to wear the sunscreen, wear the sun protection hat, um, the shirts that you can wear, the umbrellas, um, sunglasses, lip balm. So it's important to use chapsticks with sunscreen in them. All of that's important. It doesn't take long to no. get a sunburn and, no. and, and, and to damage your skin Correct. out there it can happen within an hour. And so that's why if you're outside longer than two hours, it is important to reapply it. When it comes to sunscreen, is there a certain SPF we should be using? So SPF just means sun protective factor, and that's the percentage of ultraviolet rays that can reach the body. So we recommend 30 or above for everyone. And if you're at the beach or the lake, 50 or above and you wanna reapply after two hours. Yesterday was a pretty cloudy day, so some folks may think, I don't need to put the sunscreen on, I don't need that protection. Is that true? That's not true. Even if it's raining, if it's cloudy, if you're near the sand, you can still get about 80% of those sun rays. So you still need that sunscreen. You still need the sunscreen, um, and you want to reapply it if you're outside longer than two hours. Um, and I want to stress for all skin types to use it as well, because even if you are darkly pigmented, you can get those blistering sunburns as well. And is it harder to pick up on the darker skin tones that perhaps you may have a, a trouble spot? So, you know, the spots can present differently. If you have a sore that's not healing, something that's bleeding, um, you know, you want to get it checked. Don't question it. Just go to a doc your doctor or your dermatologist and get it checked. And then the spots can come up on different areas. So you can get them on the palms, the soles of the feet, the nails. Um, if you do have any concerning spots, just ask your doctor. And if they think you need to be referred, they'll refer you. We just saw some photos like as a toenail, one on, on the foot. You yes. told me before those on the foot do concern you as they a dermatologist. Do, they do, um, because people don't think that those can change into skin cancer. But we know that um, you can get moles on the bottom of the hand, the soles of the feet. And, and those do need to be checked for changes. Um, it's important to get those checked. How often should we be coming for a checkup, even if we can't see any areas that are of concern to us, how often should we come to a dermatologist and get that skin check? Because you can't check your entire body Yes, yourself. you're correct. Right. So definitely once a year, um, particularly if you have a family history of skin cancer or if you've had skin cancers, you do want to come once a year because you can't see your back and you don't know what you don't know. So it is important to get the skin check. And then once you get to your dermatologist, they'll determine whether or not you actually need long-term skin checks. Once you've done some damage to your skin, is there any way to reverse that? So there are a lot of ways. The sunscreen can help um, avoiding the sun when it's strongest from 10 to 2 can help. There are some vitamins out there, one called HelioCare, which is polypodium leucotomus that can help protect you from the sun. Um, and, and there are some, some skincare things you can do to help prevent sun damage as well outside of sunscreen. I know retinol and retinoids are very important. If folks want to, to come get checked out, remind us where you're located. So we're located in East Chase at 2060 Berry Hill Road. Um, and our websites are our dermatologylaser.com, phone number 334-676-3366. Dr. Love, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You're welcome.